Hey y'all, welcome to my new apartment. Come on in. So this is my living room. It's pretty huge. I love all this space. And the style of my apartment is modern, minimalist glam. You know, a little boho chic. It's just me. I don't like a lot of stuff. I have the hints of gold. Everything is simple, neutral colors. And this is my TV. I have a 65 inch 4K flat screen. I was going to mount it, but I decided that I liked it on a TV stand. It's the perfect eye level. And I kept my sofa from my old apartment. I just added some new throw pillows to it. See the touches of gold. And don't worry, I'm going to link everything for y'all. Everything that's available, and if it's not available, I'll find something similar. I also kept my same coffee table. So you guys are going to notice a few of these things from my old apartment. That's my same coffee table, my coffee table book, along with my marble tray. And I have a Haworthia plant on the table. Yes, that is the real plant. When I saw this rug that I had in my living room, room I just had to have it it's a Moroccan print rug and I love the minimalist aesthetic of it but just the print is so nice and my sister thought I was crazy because she was like that rug is gonna be filthy and I'm like nope no one can eat anything crazy my nephew is only allowed to have white cheese doodles yes my baby nephew can only have white cheese doodles in my house and clear beverages because he will not be messing up my nice rugs but I love 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 this rug I love it and I have this basket from my old apartment over here and it still stores the blanket. So when everyone is watching TV and they get cold, they can grab a blanket. And being that I'm on the ground floor, it does get very cold in here. And I'm trying to, you know, monitor the heat. This is my first time being able to control my heat. Yes, I control the heat and I have central air, which is amazing. But now you pay for the heat. So you want to be able to, you know, adjust it where it's not too hot, not too cold. And I'm still getting used to that. But yeah. Blanket basket so we won't freeze. And you'll also notice these little side tables from my old apartment. I decided to utilize them in a new apartment because I absolutely love them. And my gold ottoman, which is one of my favorite things. I'm thinking about getting another one for my room. This chair is new. It's a sling chair and it's super comfortable. My son loves to sit in this chair. This is his little corner. I'm usually on the chase lounge, but when he's not in this chair, I utilize it. It's going to be perfect to just read a book. You can actually see the TV from here. I like to sit here and enjoy snacks. And I love the corner because it's surrounded by my plants. So you guys know I had to have a plant corner. And I have my plants hanging. There's two pothos and a spider plant. I just put this spider plant in a bigger pot and hung it and it's growing like crazy. Absolutely love it. Then I have this plant stand over here with lots of plants on it. We have an aloe, we have a ZZ plant, a rubber tree, a jade plant, and a baby monstera that is flourishing. And then over here I have this aloe plant in this little pot. And I have my lamps. One on each side, and I have smart bulbs in them. They're glow bulbs. So, Alexa, turn off the lights. Yeah, she decided to listen today. Alexa, make the lights 100%. Maybe I should have told her to turn them on first. Alexa, turn on the lights. All right, that's all I had to show y'all with them lights. But yes, that is it for my living room. So this is my gallery wall, guys. You probably remember that I had a gallery wall in the old apartment, but this is the new gallery wall, and it's filled with photos of myself and my son, some of our favorite photos. And I left space so we can add three to five more photos on the wall. We're going to bring it all the way down to the floor. And this is actually the hall where you enter my apartment. It's just a slight hall. It goes into the living room, but then I have this rug on the floor. It pairs well with the rug in the living room. Very simple, same colors. And this is my front hall closet. I'm not going to open it and show you guys because there's a lot of stuff in there. But it's very organized. That's just my storage closet. And over here, you'll see in the entryway that I have a little bench. You can sit on that bench to take off your shoes. And you can also put your shoes there just to keep shoes organized. Because I do not allow people to wear shoes in my house. That's just nasty, y'all. Mm -mm, I don't do that. 
So this is my sitting area, you guys. It's right behind my sofa. It's an extension of the living room, but it's the same sitting area that I had in my old apartment in Brooklyn. It's a pub table with two stools, and we have Billie Holiday above it. Absolutely love Billie Holiday, but you know, it's a nice, clean area. I was thinking about putting a rug, maybe a black cap here rug, but I'll think more about that later. For now, I love the minimalist aesthetic. And next to the sitting area, we have the bar. You know I have to have a bar. I don't even drink like that, but I like to make sure I have drinks when people come over. And I have my wine down there. I do love me a glass of wine. Right above the bar cart, these are actually pieces that came from Thailand. A family member went to Thailand and gave them to my dad, and he gave them to me. You'll remember them from my old apartment, if you watch my Brooklyn apartment tour. But now they have a spot above my bar cart. And I absolutely love my bar cart. It's actually brown instead of the black to add some more color to the space still neutral with the gold accents that matches the gold and the photos and I have some lucky bamboo here one of them wasn't doing so great when I first got here because I had it right under the vent but it's doing better now but it kind of looks like something from a Dr. Seuss book but I love 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 my bar card okay y'all so next we have my dining room come on in so I kept the aesthetic of the dining room very minimalist with mostly black furniture. I have black fall leather chairs. I have the black wood table, some black placemats. Yes, that is a real plant. I have a snake plant on a table. And I found this rug that I actually absolutely love. It looks like paint splatter. And like I chose it because it goes with the aesthetic of my dining room, but it also looks really good with this artwork that I used to have above the couch in my old apartment. This African queen is gorgeous. She just reminds me of myself. I'm not trying to took my own home, but you know, she gorgeous like me. Over here in the corner, I have a plant. This is a red Congo. Actually, it's a green Congo, and I'm so glad that my plants are flourishing in the new apartment because this plant didn't grow anything for almost a year. And in the new apartment, a new pot with some more sunlight and moisture is putting out some new leaves. And over here in this corner, I have my Monstera. It doesn't look like a Monstera because it doesn't have any splits, but it was doing poorly because I didn't have enough light in my old apartment. Now that I have more light, it's actually putting out bigger leaves, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to start splitting soon. But I'm so happy because she looks so healthy, and she looks happy. And I found these baskets. Oh, my goodness. I found these at Walmart, and it goes perfectly with the aesthetic of my dining room with some cute coupons and stuff i got the two of the baskets together for like 10 bucks y'all don't worry i told y'all i'm gonna link everything but yes 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 this is my dining room and we actually do sit in here and eat my son and myself our schedules are pretty different so a lot of times we're sitting here at separate times but we like to sit in the sitting area in the living room to watch tv because i don't really eat in the living room much now that i have multiple choices of places to eat unlike my old apartment there we didn't have a dining room so now that we have a dining room I do eat here I make my niece and my nephews eat here so they don't mess up the place so they messy y'all know how kids are but yes that is my dining room and I love it I love the black as y'all can see I love black you see I'm wearing all black I absolutely love my black and I love 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 my dining room and I may put another piece of art on this wall I don't really want to. I don't really feel a need to. I like the minimalist style, but I may decide on something simple, complimentary to the African queen on the other wall. But yes, y'all, that is the dining room. So this is my kitchen, y'all. This is where the magic goes down when I'm in here whipping up all them good meals, and it is huge. I have so much counter space, guys, and so many cabinets. Yes, 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 and oh, I have a dishwasher now. I try not to use it more than two or three times a week, but I love the fact that I do have a dishwasher. I do wash when there's a couple of dishes in the sink. I just wash them by hand. So I have this little rack in the sink that I put away when it's not in use. But over here on the counter, I have my oils and, you know, cooking wine, things I cook with utensils and spaghetti. And this little pot those plant back here, when it's sunny out, actually gets sun all the way back there in that little corner. And over 
over here I have some appliances. We have a Ninja Blender, my wine opener, and a frother. I don't have a Keurig as of yet, but my sister said that's what I'm getting for my housewoman, so I'm not buying one. She's going to get me a Keurig. And over here I have my Instant Pot. Cook up my rice oatmeal. I actually have to move it to use it because there is no cord over there, but that's the way I store it. And we have some more appliances over here. I have my air fryer and my baby my kitchen needs stand mixer actually inherited from someone else because i couldn't bring myself to buy one but i have one now that's why it's light blue not really a color i would choose for myself but hey it was a gift Vegas can't be choosy and i have my mocha pot that i've been using to make my coffee now and my son bought me this for christmas a couple of years ago if you're not following my more meals cooking vlog or my more meals youtube which the premiere video is coming soon. You have to follow. And that's me, Glam Ms. Moore. My name's the same on everything. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and everywhere else. Because yes, my name is the same. But I have some more cutting boards up there. And then we have all of my pots and pans on this baker's rack. So I don't have to go digging under the cabinet for them. But yeah, that's the baker's rack. It extends my storage space in my already huge kitchen. Stainless steel garbage. We're not going to go in all the cabinets and stuff, but there's dishes in there. We have food, 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 seasonings. I can give you all a peek in the seasoning cabinet. See, the seasonings are organized, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you guys can see, all of my appliances are stainless steel. I love stainless steel. Stainless steel fridge. My dishwasher is stainless steel and I have the stainless steel and black stove and I have a gas, of, <laughs> I have a glass top stove, no more gas, this is electric now which I really like because I feel like it's safer but it's so hard to keep clean like I've been here scrubbing this stove because I don't like the look of a dirty stove but it's clean and one big difference I noticed from a gas stove, I had a broiler in the bottom of my other stove but this is actually storage and I use it for my baking utensils so that's cool but yeah I also have a built in microwave which is also stainless steel, this is my son's favorite part because my microwave had conked out in the old apartment and I never replaced it. We just had the air fryer so now I can't even take the microwave away from him. But I still use it too. I can't front. It's nice to have a microwave now. I just don't OD. I still use my, my air fryer to heat up some stuff. But yeah, everything is stainless steel and it matches my accessories. So everything has like a streamlined look. I just absolutely love, love, love my kitchen. And my kitchen rugs, I chose brown with hints of blue. The brown goes with the cabinet and the floors. And then the blue goes with my accessories like my kettle and my Dutch oven pot and my other matching pot. And even the light blue KitchenAid mixer. It's a different shade of blue, but the rugs bring all of those elements together. And that is my kitchen, guys. So now we're going to move on to the rest of the house. So now we're going to go to the under end of the house with the bathroom and the bedrooms. This is the hallway. I have a little runner rug, which feels so comfortable under our feet. And let's go into the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. I kept it very neutral with white and gray. That's my tub. <laughs> I love the fact that we don't have those towels that we used to have in Brooklyn because it's so much easier to keep this tub cleaner. We have a medicine cabinet and I have it organized, you know, pretty well, but y'all need to be all up in there right now. <laughs> and I have a little stainless steel garbage can sink. It's a bathroom. I keep my bathroom very minimal. I don't like a lot of stuff in it, but we do have a storage closet in the bathroom behind the door and pretty much like all my stuff, hair supplies, towels and washcloths, tissue, all of that stuff is in there. Very organized because we have all of this space. And we also have some drawers in here. We have a whole bunch of combs and brushes and stuff in that drawer. And my clippers and whatnot is in this drawer. But yeah, that's the bathroom. It's nice and simple and clean. And I found this shower curtain in TJ Maxx. And I love the print on it because it just fits in with the rest of the prints. And you'll probably notice that I have a lot of different 
prints as far as like rugs and shower curtains but everything is minimal in color so they all go well together and they don't clash but I love that shower curtain and I love like my minimalist theme in the bathroom and oh let me show you guys another thing I have this light and it's a heat lamp and it works on a timer so when we get out the shower you can stand here and you won't be cold at all like the bathroom is already very warm when you stand under this light it's extremely warm so you know those nights when it's freezing you get out the shower and you're like Ooh! you ain't got to worry about that you just stand under this light and it just feels so amazing it feels like i'm standing in the sun i love it i love that part of my bathroom so now let's move on to my bedroom so in the hall, we have another closet, and I use it for storage. There's some sheets, extra sheets, and shower curtains and stuff in there, but it's just pretty much storage for things that need to be stored. We have a lot of storage closets, and now I'm going to show you guys my bedroom. Y'all ready? Let's go. So this is my bedroom. Y'all see how big this room is? Now, I went from not having a bedroom at all in my old apartment. I shared the living room as my bedroom because it was a one bedroom and I gave it to my son as I wanted him to have his own space. It was supposed to be temporary and we ended up staying in that same situation for 17 years. So, of course, we outgrew that place, but I didn't think that when I got my new apartment and I had my own bedroom that it would be this big. It's so big that I'm able to fit a queen size bed a whole entire office area and then I also have a vanity now I am so happy for the fact that I have a vanity and an office space because in my old apartment I had to share one desk as an office space and a vanity and during lockdown I had to just turn it into an office space because it was more important for me to have the office space than a vanity and I didn't have a vanity so I'm glad that I have a vanity now and that natural sunlight coming in is perfect perfect for when I'm doing my makeup but this is my office space this is where I work and I have an iMac I have my little lamp and this lamp it has multiple settings to go dim and get lighter and this chair y'all this chair is so comfortable I have to show you guys this chair like it's extremely comfortable and it's like you can sit in it in all kind of ways like if you're the type of person that likes to curl your feet up this is how i like to sit they say you can sit crisscross apple so that's but uh i'm getting a little oh i can't actually sit like that but i'm gonna work on it i'm gonna work on it but yeah i like to sit like this but it's so 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 comfortable i can't even explain how comfortable it is but yeah that is my office chair, and I just have this little cushion in there to make it even more comfortable. And it's not on wheels, because wheels tend to run down your carpet, so I don't mind the fact that it's not on wheels. But yeah, that is my office chair. So this is my bed. I have a queen-size bed. I kept my frame from the old apartment, but I bought a new mattress. And I have lots and lots of pillows. I don't actually sleep on all of these pillows. I sleep on four. The other four are decorative. And I put them in this basket over here at nighttime. And I got this basket on sale with some discount codes for like 10 bucks. I'm going to link that for y'all too. But this is my favorite thing in my room. This bamboo fan on the wall. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite piece in this room. I was looking for a standout piece, a standout piece of art that would go well in a room, but not like, you know, clash with anything or completely take over. I wanted it to be minimal, but it had to like stand out since my bed is so low, I needed something on that wall. And when I saw this, I just had to have it. And when I put it up, I was like, perfect choice. It's so me, it fits in perfectly well with the decor. And these four fur pillowcases used to be on my sofa and now they're converted to my bedroom. And I love this Moroccan rug that I chose for my room. It just really goes well with the decor and the nice cream and black print. You'll see that the theme of all my rugs is mostly cream and black except for the dining room rug and the hallway rug which has that gray in it but that rug just really looks nice under my bed and really gives the room a pop with all the neutrals and the solid colors the rug really gives the room a pop 
and I love these teal throw pillow covers. I used to have these on my bed in the past, but I decided to put them back on there to give the room, you know, a pop of color. And then teal and fun sway represents like peace, prosperity, balance, and that's the energy that I want in my space. This is my old TV that used to be in my living room. It's just a 40 inch. Someone was like, you need a bigger TV. And I'm like, no, because I usually don't watch too much TV in the bedroom. But when I do, this is the perfect size. The TV on this TV stand is good eye level when I'm laying in my bed. It's like level with my eyes, even when I'm laying all the way down. And the size is perfect. I don't need any bigger. But I like the fact that I have a TV in here now. If I want to just, you know, curl up in bed and relax and watch TV. And that's my TV stand. And then here is my vanity area where I do, you know, my little makeup. When I start wearing makeup again, I don't wear too much now. But when I'm doing my makeup, I'll be sitting at my vanity area. And I have this gold floor lamp. It's the same lamp as the lamps that's in my living room with the same smart glow bulb. It's just in gold. And, um... My plants, I have a little ZZ, that's a ZZ Raven, a black ZZ plant. I have another pothos, and I have a money tree to bring peace and balance and money to this place. And it was the perfect choice for my bedroom. It came a little beat up when I got it, but now it's flourishing. All the new baby leaves are growing into big leaves, and there's a bunch of babies growing all in there. Like the plant is really flourishing in my room. And on the other side of my bed, I have a nightstand and I have the same lamp that I have on my desk. And like I said, you can dim it, different light settings. And I have my Echo, which I use as one of my alarm clocks in the morning. And I also use it to control the lights of my vanity. There's not smart bulbs in this lamp, so she doesn't control those. And I absolutely love this little piece that my cousin bought me as a gift for my new apartment. And I cut off pieces from one of the pothos in my living room to propagate, but it looks so cool next to my bed. And of course, I keep a coaster for drinks. And I just have some of my favorite books there this one I just started reading to get good with the money and I never finished <laughs> neither of these two actually I didn't read this one either but that's why they're there so I can see them and get through them when I have time and I have a candle and some tissue but that is my nightstand on that side of my bed this is my left side of my bed funny thing is I still get in and out of the bed on this side although the other side is closer to the door because in my old apartment my bed was in the corner next to the wall and I had to get out on the left hand side so I'm so used to getting out on that side that I still get out on this side and my sister think is the craziest thing ever but I just have to get used to having all this space and knowing and putting it in my head that I can get out on either side of the bed <laughs> And on the right side of my bed, I have this. This is actually a plant stand. I'm using it as a side table, and I keep a candle on it and some Lucky Bamboo. And I also keep a coaster, and I put this coaster there if I'm using it there. I use it when I need a coaster at my desk. But I put this little side table to put a little bit of separation between my bed and my office area and to give me just a little side table space when I am laying on this side of the bed, which I haven't been yet because I'm so use the other side of the bed. And I have a floor length mirror over here so I can look at myself and make sure I look good before I leave out. I have the mirror in between the two closets, but I noticed this is across from the window. It had a glare and I couldn't see myself that well. So I moved it over here and it's actually perfect over here because it's empty wall space and the basket looks really nice next to it. So I absolutely love having the mirror there. So I know y'all been waiting. Let's take a look at the closets. Now I have two closets. Not one closet, two closets. I went from stealing my son's closet in his bedroom to having two closets of my own now. And one of them is a walk-in closet. Now, I briefly organized this closet. I'm definitely going to be organizing it some more, but I'm just going to come inside so you can see how much space is in there. I can actually get dressed in a closet if I'd like to. And... There's just so much space. Everything is so organized. I have my clothes hanging. Um, I have this uh, cube storage that I use as a dresser with the inserts in it. And I have my sunglasses, my jewelry, my perfume. 
all of my bags are over here organized in this corner. I love the fact that I can see them all, which means I'm going to wear them all. And I have this large basket down here that I use as a hamper. As you can see, it's full. As soon as I finish recording, I'm going to go do my laundry. But I have storage. I have my hats up on top of the closet. I have some storage bins in that big basket. There's some swimsuits. I have sweaters over here. I have dresses over here. There's a place for everything. And I have a very minimalist wardrobe. So I won't be adding too much more just because I have more closet space, but I have space for everything that I need and I can see everything easily. So I'm going to have such a good time getting dressed with this new closet. So now, let's go to the other closet. The other closet. <laughs> and this closet, I actually use for coats and jackets and shoes. Up top, I have my sneakers. And that shelf is so high. I have a little stool that I use in my other closet because that shelf is extremely high. And I have jackets and coats. I have a couple of more coats in one of the other storage closets because they're too long for this closet. But most of my jackets and coats are in here. And then we have shoes. And these are all my shoes. I pared down my whole collection, but this is everything. That's my boots. That's my sandals. Then we have mules and flat shoes over there. Like my whole entire shoe collection fits in there. And I just love the fact that I have two closets. And I love that my shoes and my coat get to go in a separate closet. Because, you know, those are things you wear outside. So they don't have to mix with, you know, my clean clothes and my other closets. They have their own space. So I don't have to worry about things getting getting contaminated and I still take my shoes out and take them to the front to put them on I don't put them on in here because I don't wear shoes in the house I told y'all that's nasty <laughs> but yes that is my other closet so yes y'all your girl has two closets not one two oh that would have been four but two <laughs> now I'm gonna show y'all my son room he gonna allow y'all in so come on let's go Oh. Yes. Hey guys, I didn't see you there. Nah. Come on. They want to see your room. So yes, y'all, this is my son's room. He's upgraded to a queen size bed. And a long time ago, I believe in my old apartment tour, I had this Orgy Hepburn picture above the sofa. Actually, she might have been going already, but this used to be above my sofa and he took it and made it his own. And he has some lamps for shelves. On both sides of his bed. You want to tell him about your room? Um, it's a regular room. <laughs> um, I got some of my favorite people up here. I mean, it's Juice World, Leah, Harley Quinn, the Joker. I don't got to say oh, much. Oh, everybody know who that is. Um, and uh, he got satin sheets, y'all. Can't tell him nothing. His satin sheets and his red lights. Uh, I don't know what he think this is. It's the, the Players Club. Oh, the Players Club? <laughs> oh, PlayStation Kids. So we got the PS2 next to the PS5. The controller is my little henchman on top. Um, love Star Wars. So, Boba Fett Yoda. Got the book here. to be saving this space for something at a later date. But we got the whole layout right here. Um, my hats. They used to be on the wall, but now they all... Just hang up. Um, got my trophy over here. These two lamps. Um, my little collection of these little what's they called? The little pops. Um, I got. I still got some of the sneakers. This is my lineup. I like ones, so I got all my ones at the bottom. Queens, Dunks, Fresh White Air Forces. We're waiting for the summertime. And y'all see he got a walk-in closet, too. You gonna get him a little peek? Just I a just, little peek? I show him the sneakers. All right. He said y'all can look at his sneakers. Where the sneakers at? Yeah, All do. right. The rest the of them. Got a rug in here. It's a little messy right now. So yeah. Gotta... That's it. He gave y'all a little peek at his closet. But yeah. Yeah. So y'all oh. like his room <laughs> and y'all see what that says, right? I find your lack of faith disturbing. I like that he gets to look at that every day. We need those reminders. I come in here and look at it too, but 
Yes, and my son designed his room himself. This is all him. He put this together and he told y'all it's the Players Club. Yay, yay. <laughs> so he decided to let some light in for y'all real quick so y'all could see the room with some natural light. He be acting like he liked the dark. I like the dark too, but look how he has these remotes set up. Tell him about your remotes. Yeah, so over here, all my TV remotes are connected with uh. No grow. I'm sorry. So good. And so if I turn on the TV, I can just turn it on. Oh, I have lights behind the TV as well. So on this side of the bed, when I'm laying down, all my remotes are over there. But the remote that changed the light on the TV is over here. So if I wanted to just click it, um, I'm doing a lot, but I'm gonna turn it off so you guys can see how the lights on the color. If I want, I can speed the light, so I can slow it down. Yeah, that's dope. He love his lights, y'all. You see, he got lights all over the place. He has lights behind the bed. He got his smart bulbs and the lamps. And he loves ha having his lights different colors, so he it's makes smooth. it nice and cozy. Yeah, smooth lighting. Yeah. He keeps it nice and cozy and comfortable in here. Sometimes I have to drag him out. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, y'all, last but not least, let's look at the outdoor space. We're going on the patio. Okay, so, ooh, where all these leaves come from? I literally just set up the patio, and y'all about to see me dust some stuff off of it because I do not want these leaves on here. They were not here, and I got me a little hand room to keep the leaves off <laughs> and so let me dust those leaves off real quick and then i'll get to showing y'all right y'all so i cleaned it all up but this is my little patio space i threw it together really quickly because the weather's getting nice we wanted to be able to sit out here so i got these acapulco chairs because i had them at my resort in mexico when i went to tulum i had some raddened ones and they were comfortable and the thing is they don't look very comfortable but they are extremely comfortable like my son comes and sits out here for hours and like these chairs are so comfortable. It has a matching table, and I've been coming out here to have my breakfast, some brunch, just sit out here, relax. I'll definitely be lighting some citronella candles because I don't do bugs, and I know the bugs going to be coming because they're already floating around. But I also got this indoor, outdoor rug. Actually, it's an outdoor rug. It's made out of plastic, so everything just sweeps off, water flows off, and, um... I chose this print. It's reversible and the other side is gray. I thought this print works really well with the rest of my decor inside, but it looks nice out here. It's like this bohemian, bohemian tribal print. And um, I just really like this space. This is a temporary setup. I might be changing this space, but I did choose these chairs because they go with my decor inside. So if I decided to put a different set out here on the patio, I can utilize these chairs indoors. One of them would definitely be going right in my room and one can go right in the living room. Like I love, love, love these chairs and they seem very sturdy. So I'm hoping to have them for years to come. But if I do keep this set, I did see an Acapulco bench that'll go nice with these chairs so I can just move everything over a little bit, put the bench over there against the wall. I'm going to put some plants out here. I got this, um, it's a rat and candle holder that I found at TJ Maxx and it was on sale for like 12 bucks. So I can't wait to put some candles in there. There are a plant over there. You can actually see my indoor plants without the glare behind everything on the patio, but I can't wait to really get it set up. But this is my temporary setup that I literally just threw together and we've been enjoying sitting out here already. Like I know this is gonna be my spot. I'm gonna read out here. I'm gonna have my breakfast out here. I'm probably gonna do some yoga. I'm gonna sip my wine evening like i am going to enjoy my patio space and my son has been enjoying it too i'll even be working out here but yeah 
This is the patio space, y'all. So I showed you guys the whole apartment. I'm definitely going to link everything. So make sure you check the description box. I'll also be writing up a complimentary blog post so you guys can have links there as well. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. I hope it's all that you expected. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And just let me know what you think about my decor. I threw this all together really quick. Sometimes I like to change things. I love the way things are now. I'm not really planning on changing much. Maybe the patio, but I am really happy with the way things came together. And I literally threw this together in like a month. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys next time. That's it for my home decor tour.